Okay, what's up guys? So, I wanted to make this video, and I don't want it to like, put down anybody or make it seem like that. Like, I, listen, I love my country, I love the great people in my country and things, I love the people that does stuff for a cause and that helps out the country at the end of the day. But at the same time, it's just like, I'm not like, like, oh, I'm all America. America is great. America is better than any country out there and things. That's just not the character and the person that I'm, that I am and stuff. And just like the whole celebration of 4th of July, I really only like celebrating it because of the fireworks. Like, that's just, that's the only thing that I really like at the end of the day when it comes to the 4th of July and stuff is just fireworks. Like, and then also the holiday away from work and things where I could just like sit down and just focus on myself. But, um, just like the whole like, oh, this is the day, you know, when America became America and things. And I'm like, I, I felt like that my, how I feel about that is that this land had a name before like i'm pretty sure that there is you know obviously that there you know there was people here before anybody and i'm pretty sure that they had a name for this land and i'm like and it's just you know i feel like that yeah that's the go-to name is america that's what everybody they grew up knowing it as that's what everybody and just like anybody born like today like yeah they they know it is america unless there's like some history book or some book that tells us otherwise or tells people otherwise but my thing is it's like i want to like i i don't know like i guess like mainly i want to know like the real roots of this land like i don't want to know the roots that everybody is celebrating today like because that's I, to, to me i'm like i, I want to understand this land more i want to understand the people that was on this land originally more so it's like my i just i don't know my my whole celebration with uh fourth of july it's just it's kind of off the wall it just kind of is like you know i'm celebrating it but at the same time i'm really not celebrating it i'm only really celebrating it because of fireworks and then that's the only time when you know you could be as loud as possible and things and it's just like no consequences or repercussions it's like you know you just you just having fun and it's just like i i just see it as just like you know mainly as a having fun thing like that's why i just really like the whole concept of it it's just the whole having fun part but when it's just like, oh, let's, you know, stand up for the national anthem or say the Pledge of Allegiance and all of that stuff. Like, even in school, like, I don't want people that make it seem like, oh, you're disrespectful to your own country. You were born in this country and all of that. And I'm like, there's people doing far more worse things to the country than me. Like, oh, I don't really like just the whole national anthem thing or the whole Pledge of Allegiance. Like, I remember I had back in high school that there was a teacher like, if you were sitting down during the Pledge of Allegiance, she'll give you this speech on how that's disrespectful to America and stuff. And there are students that, you know, went there to went to school with. They wasn't even born like in America and things. So it's just like, why? Why should they have like I can understand on my part since I'm born in Seattle and stuff. But why do they have to stand up? for the national anthem they wasn't even born in america they were born somewhere else but why does why is this like they get yelled at and it's just like i wasn't even born here so it's like you're yelling at me for what like i shouldn't have to i feel like for me you know them just like okay maybe i do deserve the speech but for somebody else it's like that's not even born in this country like really i mean it's just like i just i don't see why that it's just like that teacher she felt like she had to do that all the time and it's just like okay I thought a pledge was a one-time pledge. Like, I didn't realize it's like, after 24 hours, then that, that pledge expires and we need to keep on renewing this pledge. Like, it shouldn't have to be like an everyday, like, you say it once, you stand up for the national anthem once, I feel like that, at that one-time meeting, then that's it. But I just see it as like, it's not changing, it's not doing anything. Like, as we're doing this pledge and as we're standing up for this national anthem, somebody that was born and raised in America just lost their life. So it's just like, on the other note, when everybody's trying to see the good in that, there's also the bad that's happening. You know, and it's just like, it's, yeah, I, I just, I don't, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, I, I try to like, you know, let's, if we're going to do some good for a cause and things, and let's do some good for a cause, let's actually help out the people instead of standing up and saying pledges and things like, no, we need to do stuff that's going to help out people that's going to like, let's get the homeless off the street. Let's kick, let's get kids with families and stuff. Let's get dogs and pets and stuff roaming the streets and in these shelters, let's get them homes. Let's, you know, 
focus on like you know making a building better and stuff and just focus on making houses bigger let's focus on gas prices let's focus just like on education and all of that and stuff because i feel like that it's just like those are all the things that fails us those are all the things it's like it just takes one it just takes something like catastrophic or something just like crazy to just take all of that stuff down and then we're just not even focused on it anymore we're focused on the next thing you know and it's just it's yeah then plus when you just got when you got like the president like that we all have and stuff it's like really i just i feel like that yeah it's just this this whole celebration of america and stuff it's like it just it doesn't yeah with that with that guy in office with trump in office it's like that's yeah i i just i don't know should i support it should i not support it like I, I don't know i feel like as a person i should be able to support anything that i want so i really shouldn't have to uh you know, I, I should I should be able to yeah support whatever I want to support in things. So, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to get that out. This yeah, it's just this. I feel like that this is the day where I just need to just be honest and just get stuff off of my chest. I made three videos so far now, just getting stuff off of my chest. But, anyways, yeah, it's like I support Fourth of July and the whole like Independence Day thing in a way. But at the same time, it's like there's so many other things that's happening. Like it's just like. You know, the, we need to focus on bettering America. So it's like when we are doing the pledge, when we are like, that's why you have people like Kaepernick doing the things that he was doing, because there's so much. It's like, you know, we're taking our mind off of that to focus on this pledge or this song. And it's like, no, we need to focus on this stuff. So eventually we can all stand together because obviously we all wasn't standing together. when you have people kneeling for the um, kneeling in front of the flag and stuff and so on and things. And so it's like, yeah, it's just it's people getting mad at these like protesters and stuff for those type of things. It's like, I just don't understand why. And it's like, you guys are taking your mind off of this and then they're trying to have you take your mind off of the stuff that we all had our mind on originally to promote something that's tearing apart America. So it's like this isn't it ain't bringing all of us together and stuff like, no, we all need to be brought together and things. We all need to focus on these problems and stuff that's like just just affecting people and things. So anyways, yeah needed to uh needed to say a few words about that and things but anyways like i said i don't want people to be like oh you're disrespecting your country like i said i love my country i love the great people in my country and things but i feel like that we just have a lot of problems that we need to focus on to make this country better so it's like when trump was on that whole make america great um great again it's like america was never great we always been at war we were always losing people there's like and it's just you know America was never great like we're always like in some sadness or in some like depression and things and it's just all of these things that's just tearing us apart yeah it's like America when was America great like before America became America you know like when there was nobody on America on the American land it was just no, it was just nature just taking its part like I yeah it's just I see it as like America was never great. So it's just like we all need to like figure out a way or, you know, we need to do things, stand together and just, you know, make it great and stuff. So but anyways, just wanted to say those few words. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe. Peace.